Hello, beta testers. Were you expecting God of War Ragnarok? Wolverine? Spider-Man 2? Final Fantasy 16? Maybe some sort of Silent Hill announcement? None of these games are likely to be showcased, but does that mean there will be no excitement? Most likely, but there is a cat game coming, and maybe you're into that sort of thing. Maybe you're the type of developer that is terrified of titties, but loves to pet a dog. Mm hmm. But there's hope. Maybe this Wukong game will surface. Maybe that sexy Project Eve game will surface. Which is incredible, by the way. Thank you from the West. Maybe some Hogwarts Legacy clips. Maybe even some Call of Duty reveals. Surely they wouldn't put on a showcase and just dump a bunch of VR garbage in it. Right? I mean for 30 minutes? In this video I present 10 games most likely to appear in this showcase. Are you excited? Tell me all about it in the comment section. Spill that excitement on the like button. Number 10. Oh, Morbius? Morb. Morbius. Not since the Batman with Twilight star Robert Pattinson have I seen territory more ripe for video game exploration than Morbius. I'm kidding, but I bet you this show gonna have you wishing something interesting was happening. Yeah, was about Number 10. <laughs> What more needs to be said? Project Eve showcases an unapologetically beautiful protagonist carving a path through her enemies. A jiggly, blood-soaked queen set to take her place next to 2B and Bayonetta as long as Korean developer Shift Up sticks the landing. Thank you, Korea, and by extension, Eastern developers, for saying no to woke garbage that is trying to kill video games in the West. This is how you sell video games and establish a fan base in the West. And all this game will have to do is release complete, and it'll have more than most of the games in the West these days. This game looks beautiful in more ways than one, and if it's true to what it means to be, I'm sure it'll be satisfying for those who finally get to dig into it. I look forward to playing it myself. Number 9 As technically impressive as Black Myth Wukong looks, I'll admit the first time I saw it, I didn't think it was for me. But now that I've completed Elden Ring and it's clear I'm some some level of masochist, I, I, I imagine this is on the table for me now. With Genshin Impact showing the industry how players turned fans react and appreciate that quality, we can only hope that the bar gets raised across the board. Here's hoping that we get to see something as interesting as Black Myth Wukong in the State of Play Showcase. But considering how cool that would be, temper your expectations. Number 8 In Stray, you play as a cat. That's it. Or, or it could be it, and people would still buy this game. Hilariously, uh, I imagine this game's gonna have an advantage over most Western games, because instead of bad writers torturing players with out-of-touch and unfunny dialogue, the environment and gameplay are gonna be forced to do the heavy lifting, which could lead people to genuinely love this. I mean, more than they were already gonna. Look, it's a, it, you can play as a cat, so... 
I expect to definitely see this. Um, and I heard that it's been changed in a big way, so I, I guess I'll be eager to see what they changed. Number 7 Strange energy signature detected. Computer, what's my location? Computer! Multiverses was a game I planned to stay away from until it became available to everybody, but taking a look at it, it, it looks great. Nice to see Fortnite forcing the industry in new directions, even if the industry is only concerned with how lucrative its properties can be. I saw online that Johnny Bravo was found in the files, and honestly, you, you really don't need to say anything more to me. I am, um, I'm on board when this is properly available. Damn. Number six. Hogwarts Legacy? All this game needs to do when it comes out is work, and it'll deserve kisses on the mouth from Sony for giving them another cash cow to yippee over. A game like this should have existed a long time ago, in a world with Potter so popular, but if waiting allowed it to be this gorgeous, this Slytherin can tolerate the waiting. Here's hoping the frames can stay at or above 60, and that I can locate some fat booty Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw girls. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Unwritten. Feel the rain on your skin, no one else can feel it for you, only you can. Number 5. Virtual reality stuff, yay. Look, I'm gonna start rattling off the rest of these. Do you like VR, dweeb? I'm happy for you, man. VR stuff is guaranteed in this showcase. I don't care, but, you know, Sony cares even less. <laughs> this is the state Sony wants to play in. VR, wow. Here it comes. Catch the fever. I couldn't think of a single game <laughs> that would make me want to go pick up a, a VR, you know? Maybe a Simpsons game. How much are they? Exit, you know? I, I, I'm asking the wrong questions. Number four. Do you remember that PlayStation was trying to do this new tier thing with its plus subscriptions and it was going to offer some some new classic games, you know, very bizarre choices at the same time. But if you don't remember good, because you're going to be reminded in this show, let me tell you something. And uh, maybe maybe more games will be announced because otherwise it really will be feeling like we're just like, and don't you don't forget to buy my subscription service. Now I have something in to Game Pass, okay? You buy it, kids. Maybe something Final Fantasy 16 is announced. I'm equal parts curious and cautious about this. The the Final Fantasy changing and shrinking breasts. It's just, it's, you know, how do you take something that everybody liked and decide, oh, well, I'm just going to change it. Bro, I'm as excited for a Final Fantasy announcement as I am for Kingdom Hearts, and that's not very. Number three. Number three. Trash. You know, like guaranteed, forespoken. Um, Gotham Knights. Ooh, I fucking got him. Last of Us will probably remind people that it had like a multiplayer thing that it was supposed to be doing. Maybe they've ruined that with a battle royale. Sure, of course. You know what I mean? What would I like to see? Number two can be dream announcements. Something like uh, GoldenEye. I'm so sorry. My body like just was like, oh yeah, sure. I, I caught myself off guard with that one. GoldenEye. For, for all platforms, too. It's cross-platform, all right? Uh, maybe like a PlayStation Home meets Animal Crossing type game. Furnishing, customization. Oh, it's just the best. That's cross-platform, too. Why let my dreams be dreams, okay? Any announcement from a Rocksteady, Insomniac, or Sucker Punch game. Fortnite would be wonderful for for introducing a mode other than you know battle royale uh they do a horde mode as a limited time event when halloween rolls around and that's so great fortnite could have a racing mode fortnite could literally have a basic ass fighting game and effortlessly steal the thunder from multiverses if fortnite had a first person mode i would build golden eye maps and by the end of the day, there'd be COD maps, CSGO maps, Valorant, whatever shooter maps. But 
you know, I guess we're busy using the the incredible Unreal Engine as strictly some sort of battle royale machine. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how that'll run a battle royale. Oh, I can't stop thinking about it. Number one. Number one, of course, is any kind of Resident Evil or Silent Hill announcement. And oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm so hyped. I've definitely played big portions of these games because I'm not some kind of chicken shit baby boy. So kind of butterball piggy man. I'm so Okay, I'll shut up. But maybe these things will be in the show. I don't know. Either way. Hopefully, there's at least one reveal for all of us to get excited about and then not hear about for two years, if ever again. Like everything that I ever get excited for. Ain't that a bitch? If I get to see literally one of the things that I want to see, I will, I will stream Fortnite and give out a hundred hugs. It doesn't sound like punishment. But a hundred's a lot of hugs. Later.